What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, of course, this is TWA Motorsports, and today, back on the Sierra. Look, I know I've been doing a lot of stuff on this, but I'm really jazzed about it. Um, it's new to me. Uh, I get kind of this like real push when I've got something new, and I've been finding stuff, and it's really been exciting. Now look, there's been other stuff going on in the background, so don't think I haven't been working on other stuff, but I know I've been loading you guys up with some MBS stuff, which I know there's a lot of MBS fans out there. But either way, I wanted to show you guys this, this video will be relatively quick, I feel like. Um, just wanna show you some of the stuff that I got. So I've been looking for random pieces. You know, I'm driving this thing every day. I don't wanna make it to where I can't drive it. I don't wanna put it in a body shop. I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna do that um, because I wanna drive it. I mean, I, it's my daily driver. I, I wanna be able to, this, this could be, you know, one of those deals where you guys only have one vehicle, you wanna work on it, you wanna do stuff to it. So anything I do, I either have to do over a weekend or of an evening. That's the way I wanna kinda of do this project. I wanna just do a little bit at a time. So uh, anyway, you guys saw, we fixed a couple things that we talked about in the first video. We obviously got um, those window switches fixed, we got the radio in, we got the new dash bezel that goes around the radio, we got that in, you know, it was cracked. And then in the following videos, we've got the paint corrected on the hood and the top. Now we haven't done the whole vehicle, but we've at least done the hood and the top. And you guys know that the hood, you know, obviously it's got paint chips. It looks terrible. And um, I, I've been looking for a hood. Uh, I don't want to take this one off and not have a hood if it's like raining and whatnot, daily driving it. I was trying to find a used hood so we could just, you know, take one to my painter. He could paint it. We could put it on all in one day. I couldn't find a black hood. But what I did find is really exciting. I'm going to show you in the back of the truck. The other thing um, I've been looking for is a dash, a replacement dash. You guys saw all the cracks in it in the first couple videos. Um, just some random interior pieces, which I'll show you. And then another thing. But either way, I'm going to go to the back. But just to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on, I have this guy who parts stuff out out of these trucks. He has a ton of them. And he's about an hour and a half for me. And I told him, I was like, hey, do you have a hood? Honestly, do you have an HD hood? Because I've always liked that HD hood look. And he's like, well, I've got a couple, but they're not perfect. And I said, well, I'm going to have to probably paint it anyway. Even when somebody says one's perfect, chances are it's probably got some scratches, some dings. I said, well, how much you want for a, you know, just a hood? And he's like, I don't know. Come out and look at them. See what you think. I got like three of them. You know, they've got some dings and dents in them and whatnot. And he said, 50 bucks. Well, that's pretty cheap for an HD hood, honestly. And so I bought $200 worth of stuff. And I want to show you guys what that stuff is. Starting, we'll start in the back. I've got the doors open for a reason because I want to show you guys that. But starting in the back, we did get an HD hood. Um, I'm really, really excited about this, guys. Now, look, on these things, they're going to have to be painted anyway. So that's another reason why it didn't matter to me if it went perfect because you have to trim the ledge off right here in order to make this hood even work on a GMC because the Chevy... Uh, headlight and grill is all flat. That's why these work on those. But on a GMC, you have to cut this corner piece out. Now, I would love to show you guys a video of me doing that. Uh, do I think I can do it? Absolutely, I know I can. Here's the problem. Um, I don't have time for it, and I would probably maybe cut it differently on both sides, or maybe I'd cut side too short or too long. I'm gonna leave it to my body shop, um, the guy that does all my paint, that painted the truck, um, paints all my parts, does all my stuff. Um, I'm gonna leave it to him to do. I don't wanna mess with it. Obviously, I'm not a painter, I'm not a body shop guy. Let's let the people that do that, do that. So I'm gonna have this out to him today. I'm gonna kinda explain to him what I want. I don't know if he's ever done one before. It's not like it's super hard. He chops tops on old cars like this all the time. This is cakewalk for him. Easy, easy stuff. But I am going to have him do that. There, like I said, there's a few dings here and there, but the hood's structurally sound, and uh, I'm really, really excited about that, guys. I just didn't think I'd find one. They're relatively hard to find. People want stupid money for them, and you want to buy a GM one if you get one. That's for sure, and this one is an original OEM. But the other thing I found, obviously, while we were out there, and I actually didn't even think about this when I went, but I told you guys I was going to do electric fans in this truck. He had a set laying there and he's got like, you know, 50 sets of these. So I got this, this is part of the $200. So these two things, which guys, just the hood by itself should have been 200 bucks. But anyway, got the fans. I don't know how soon we're gonna be doing that. Uh, but one of the more exciting than the hood probably, because we could have painted our original hood, is the dash. Guys, I found a good dash and I've got it in. And you're probably wondering like, why are your vents all gone? Your pull bar and whatnot? Well. 
I was walking around and I didn't think I'd find one because a lot of times people pull stuff out at the salvage yard and they just throw it up on the dash and it either cracks or it scrapes it or these things are always peeled really bad. I find this dash with not only no cracks, but there's no peeling. It's, I, I don't know that I, I've seen 20,000 mile ones that peeled. My dad has had his truck since like 7,000 miles. His is peeling and he puts nothing on his dash and always takes care of his truck. So um, the fact that you find one in the color you need, so like the 03 up, without any of that is amazing. So why is it in though? Well, I was sitting here thinking after I got the hood in the back, fans in the back, these other little pieces I'm gonna show you, how am I gonna put this thing in and get it an hour and a half home on curvy, bumpy roads without breaking it, scraping it, it flying out? Obviously I can't put it in the bed. Um, they're kind of flimsy when they're not on the dash. I was trying to kind of put it in the passenger side. I couldn't do that and feel comfortable. So ultimately I just told the guys like, look, I'm going to put this in here. I told him, I, I took the tools to pull it out. And I told him, I was like, if it's cool, can I just sit here and put this in? He's like, absolutely. And then just throw your old one either back in the truck. You got this one out of, or just to the side somewhere. We're just going to trash it. So that's what I did. And, uh, it's like, look guys, you know how I like to clean stuff before I put it in. I didn't bring any cleaning stuff with me. But I'm, that's why I left all this stuff out. So like, you know, the dust and stuff that's in the cracks and crevices. Um, this is not really hard to pull. You've got Phillips on both sides on the end. You've got a Phillips behind each vent. You push these two little white tabs on either side. That guy pulls out and then it's seven millimeters once you take the radio bezel off. So very simple. Even in the front, you need when you pull these things up, you pull them up just a little bit to clear and then you pull them straight out because there's little clips and every one of those was broken on the old one that I took out. I actually had to pull them out separately before I put this one in. But like I said, this was the easiest method to get it home. So I don't have any of the pillars in, any of the vents, none of that stuff. But I was, I was really excited about, I was more excited probably about that than the hood. Um, just because the hood you can find, you may have to pony up some money and pay for. But this, you never find these in this condition. So I was really, really excited about that. Had to pick this up. That was part of that $200. The other two things, I got two other things. I got a pocket for this right here. Um, remember in the green truck that you can't replace the LEDs in these without breaking them. So a lot of people hide them behind the dash and put the little pocket in. So I got that. And then I've always been missing that little closeout panel. I got one of those as well. So I thought that was a pretty good haul. I was excited about showing you guys that. Also guys, if you don't remember when I did the window switches, I took that out. looks like somebody had been spitting chew in this back pocket. It's been sitting over there for several days, um, soaking me trying to get it cleaned up. So that's why that's still missing, but I'm excited about it. I wanted to show you guys now, here's what we're going to do real quick. I am going to clean up the dash. I'll show you guys once it's all finished and put back together. Um, I may take this opportunity to not put the pillars back in because I'm, my headliner is starting to fall a little more each day. You can see there. So I may go ahead and pull that out um, soon. So I may not put those in, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the vents in, get that all cleaned up, get the dash all brushed down and cleaned. I won't show you guys that, I'll just show you when I finish. But what I am going to do is since I'm taking this hood out today to my painter, I'm gonna also take in my tailgate. It's got a few dings in it. Um, it really needs resprayed. There's a couple scratches. Like I said, I'm trying to take stuff, parts off and take to them. So I can still drive this without a tailgate, still drive it, with the factory hood until this one's complete and then we'll do the swap out in a separate video. But um, I guess what I will do guys is I'll probably go ahead and get on the dash, get it completed. We'll show you that. And then we're gonna come back here, get these emblems off the tailgate. I wanna get this pad off the top. You can see it's screwed. I don't like that. It's not the way it should be. And we're gonna see if the little rib nuts are in there because I'd like to put the factory piece back on the top of the tailgate. Not gonna have them shave it, no tailgate handle reverse, nothing like that but I do want to uh, get all the stuff off so it just makes it a little easier for him. Got this thing all cleaned up, everything put back in, and I went ahead and put the pillars in. I'm not ready to do the, um, the headliner yet. So take a look at what we've got. Guys, this is incredible. I'm so excited. I use some of that silk shine that I always use. Uh, get it all kind of soaked down, scrub down all the cracks and crevices, you know, put these pieces back on the side. All the vents I scrubbed individually, like these guys that were popped out, same thing here. But definitely looking a lot better. We don't have any cracks now. It's insane. I'm so excited about that. Now I still have that pocket out of the door over there. I need to, I need to scrub that at some point, but 
yeah look at that you know originally we had that big huge crack there another one over there and then this piece was cracked so now all that's fixed the radio is obviously in Woo! exciting stuff guys all right let's move to the back we're gonna start right here i'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod i guess i need to get my screwdriver actually we'll start there and take these i don't know sheet metal screws out see if we can peel this thing off let's take these screws out Oh, I hate these self-tapping screws, guys. This isn't the original piece that came on this truck. Um, this truck's supposed to have... They've also got set screws in that. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but either way, at some point, somebody's replaced this. And generally, there's a two-sided tape on. This one is. Oh, sorry, I'm... Putting you guys over there here, I'm trying to pull this thing off. So, the rib nuts are still there. Oh. Yeah. They're still there. Sometimes they like to spin over the years. I've got a couple of them that are spinning, but I don't... I still think that we can run a factory one in there. All right, we're tossing this. This is like a Weston or something, some aftermarket brand, like, junk. I'd really like to have the factory one on there, but obviously we've got some glue to remove. Um, let's see if we can take this out too. Generally, if you do that, you break it off, just like I do. Which I've got another one, guys. Um, we're gonna put a painted one on. He's actually got, I took him door handles, Smooth door handle, smooth tailgate handle, smooth bezel, smooth mirror caps. He's already got those, those done. So we're gonna, let's go grab our eraser wheel. We'll get this two-sided tape off and um, these emblems as well. Now, if you guys have been on this channel any at all, you know that these are two tools I don't think I could live without because I take so much trim off, so many emblems, all that stuff. 3M adhesive remover, a microfiber, and an eraser wheel on a drill. Now you can roll this up with your thumb, but holy cow would that get old. And you'd have blisters. I know that because that's the way I used to do it until I discovered an eraser wheel. The other thing is, I, I'll go across that, I won't, I won't show you guys that, but um, we'll do this in the ledge here. Then we'll flip this thing up. I'll probably wipe it down a little bit. Um, but then we'll grab our fishing line and see if we can fishing line those things, those emblems off the back. I'm not even gonna grab my heat gun. I think they're small enough that we can just use fishing line. Now, while this does make a mess, most of it just wipes right off. And what doesn't wipe off, will go back and hit either again or you know, this stuff does a really good job of getting it loosened up, especially once the big stuff's out of the way, you know. It um, doesn't take much to wipe it off after that. Just think, that's what the paint's going to look like when we get it back. It's got a pretty substantial dent in the top of the tailgate here. I'm assuming that's probably the reason for the replacement uh, piece on the top and I'm a, I'm also assuming guys that I need to get my racer wheel here um, That they probably priced a new one from GM and The factory ones here are ridiculous. You know, you can buy some aftermarkets for the fleet side trucks, but the step sides They're crazy high um, For what they are and they're shorter than the fleet side. I don't know if it's just because they didn't make many of these trucks, but Definitely a ridiculous. I want to say they're like 200 bucks where you can get one for like 30 for the fleet side trucks We're ready to go to the other but let me know drop a drop a comment down there guys. Are you as picky as me? Does it bug you to roll through? Junk I'm one of those guys. I probably you, know, you can sweep when you're completely finished But I'm one of those guys that does it probably ten times throughout the process. It makes me crazy to go through that. So I'm gonna knock out the stuff on the top of the tailgate first. Obviously we got that piece and then we'll move on to getting those emblems out. Now we got the top all cleaned off, on to the emblems. 
like I said, guys, um, I think that we can do this because of their size with just fishing line. Now it may break a couple times because we're going to get it pretty warm here. And we may have to heat the Sierra. I don't know. But this is the way I do it. Once you get this done, and honestly, since it's getting painted, you could be a little more aggressive, but why give him extra body work that he doesn't need? Same thing as like, you know, most people just take their painter, this stuff without taking it off, you know? So now all we have to do is hit this with our eraser wheel. Let's go to the other side. Let's see how it works. I don't know about it. Like I said, it's a little, got quite a bit of fishing line here. But a lot of times it'll break like, yeah, like that. Midway through your, your sawing. Okay, see how it broke quickly? That's not a good sign. This one may require us to get the heat gun out. It's a little thicker. And you want to be really flat with the panel. I've never discussed this, but the flatter you are with the panel, the better off you are. You don't want to drag your line up against the metal of the emblem because then it's more likely to cut it, which could have been the issue to start is my angle. Wears out your hand, that's for sure. There's another piece. We're almost there though. We could probably peel it. The problem, guys, is when you peel emblems off because they're stiff, the end of the S here will cut in. We don't want that. Like I said, we don't want to give him any more body work than he's already going to have, although this is a pretty cakewalk job for him. I think the, you know, painting the hood will be the toughest. And even that's cake for him. Like I said, a guy that can chop the top on a car, somehow get it to look like a car again. That's um, kind of a dying art. He's always wanting to chop stuff. When he's any, anytime he's done stuff, he's like, let's chop the top on this. And I told him that I'm, I'm just not, I mean, certain cars, yeah, if I had like an old Model T or something, but, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him that here's the first thing I'll ever let you chop, <laughs> is my hood. All right, let's get this off with the uh, eraser wheel and the 3M adhesive remover, and I think we'll be finished. Definitely better. So we got those off. Like I said, we're gonna take this out with the hood to my painter, and um, he'll knock it out when he gets time. So I'm sitting here thinking like, is there anything else I wanna take off since I got that stuff out? Honestly, guys, I'd like to take, I like this trim on the door. That one's all wrinkled up. Until I find a replacement though, I'm gonna leave it. But this guy is just dang near falling off. As you can see, we're gonna take it off. Um, I'm gonna wipe that down. We're gonna see if the 3M adhesive remover will get majority of that off. We're still gonna have to use the eraser wheel. And there's probably gonna be an outline where it kind of etches it. But the other side, I'm gonna have to use like a plastic razor blade and get it started and then we'll pull it off. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that off since we're in the middle of doing all this. And since there's a lot of dirt back there, we're gonna start with some 3M adhesive remover, maybe soften some of that up. Here's what I'll tell you guys. If you get real aggressive here with a buffer, you will burn through the clear on this ledge. So be careful. I'm not gonna buff it right now. I'm just trying to break some of this glue up with the adhesive remover first and get some of that dirt off. Now let's see if we can peel that back. Ooh. Spinning in the drill.
I know it's kind of hard to see on camera, guys, but you can kind of tell where you're at and how much you've taken off um, if you're real time. This stuff just sticks to everything. It's like static electricity. All right, we got that one off. I'm gonna go knock the other one off real quick. Same situation, guys. That's it, we got it. Uh, both emblems off both sides, all the emblems off the tailgate, the tailgate protector. We got all the dash back in place. I'm excited. It's always exciting to see stuff come together. Things go the right way, you know? Definitely looking a lot better, guys. All right, so I'm gonna say that's it for this video. I know it was relatively short. Um, guys, I'll list that stuff that I use. I always do in the description down below, but we are headed out to my uh, body shop guy. You can see I kind of scraped on the bed a little bit, putting this thing in here. It doesn't fit great in the bed of a regular or a um, step side bed. Those beds are actually way wider, but um, there was a little ding on the front anyway. Same thing in the back. It's not gonna hurt anything. So either way, like I said, we got all the stuff taken off. I'm gonna drop the tailgate off with him. I'm gonna drop the hood off with him. May take some measurements on the old hood so he knows where to cut and maybe we end up having to put it on but ultimately guys just wanted to show you both my score at the local picking yard which it actually isn't even a salvage yard it's just a local um, advertiser that parts those trucks out and um, wanted to show you that stuff and then show you what our plans are as far as getting a few things painted you know like I said I'm going to leave the roof for now uh, we're not planning on repainting any of the rest of the truck it's just the hood you know you see it all the time it's right there and I found a cheap um hood ultimately i was just planning on if i couldn't find a hood we're just gonna have to figure something out where i could maybe um drive something maybe the green truck i just didn't I, I don't like to drive the green truck in the rain to be honest with you i don't like to drive any of this stuff out here in the rain so um you know i just i didn't want to do that but we'd have figured it out if we didn't find one but we found one so anyway guys if you did enjoy this video if you think this truck is really coming along go down there and hit that thumbs up button Guys, if you are not subscribed, you got to get subscribed. We got more coming on it. The Trans Am, the 55, the 52, it's all coming. So stay tuned to see what we work on next. <laughs>